Hey everybody, welcome back to JD Does Dev. I'm JD and it's time to do some dev. Now in part one, we went over how to make this amazing landscape pretty simply. Once we got the tool installed and went over everything that we can use that terrain 3D. In part two here, we're gonna talk about how to put a character and all these trees and other things on here very simply. But let's go ahead and get started. The next one that we are going to use is actually in the asset store, or the asset library. Let me just, you know, okay. So the next one that we want to use that we want to get set up is going to be basic FPS player. What this does is it gives us pretty much everything that we need for a uh, FPS player. Exactly what it says on the tin. Let's download it. If you ever see this message to files conflict, check, get attributes, get ignore. We don't need to worry about that. Install. Great. It's in here under basic FPS player. Okay. Project settings. Enable. Close. And let's go ahead and create our character. Basic FPS player. Now, when we create it, get a little thing has no shape. So it can't collide or interact with other objects. Makes sense. Add in, ooh, add in a collision shape and get that one that looks exactly like all of us. The one, the only capsule. Zoom in on where we are. Looks like we are over here in the corner. Makes sense at zero, zero. And just on quick look here, pop him up and you can see that we've got the capsule. We've got the camera. Let's let's make the children edible here. Camera 3D and take a look at some of our settings. Capture on start. So we're going to capture the mouse uh, so it'll move around. Settings, we can change the speed, the jump speed, jump velocity, our head bob, if you want to turn that on. Clamping the head rotation so that, you know, you can't look through your body, which is probably a good thing. Our movement, really simple to change this. So if you haven't done this already, I usually go in uh, into the project settings almost immediately and change the input map. Up, down, left, right, jump, and we just do, do our WASD. and a space for jump just for good measure. There we go. Now we just need to go over here and replace that UI so we don't have to use the arrow keys and jump. There we are. Now let's take this player and put it somewhere useful. All right, so grab on to the basic FPS player, zoom out, let's go right on top of this thing. Press F to zoom in, makes things a little bit quicker. On top here, boom, there we are. And you know, as it is, let's save this level. I'm gonna save my scene in a new folder, create folder scenes. And we're just going to call it main All right, saved. Now, in comparison to our character here, you can see that these are some really, really big bricks. And like I mentioned before, with the train 3D, we can always change that. Now that we have a bit of reference at the edit UV scale. OK, those feel like bricks now. And if you wanted to, I don't see why you would. You could always do UV rotation on that, but I wouldn't with with a pattern like that. OK, so now that we did that basic FPS player in head, we got camera camera. We're going to make sure it's turned on. Actually, it'll be automatic because we probably won't see that unless you actively change it. And just to make things easier, I'm going to take the, the sun, add it to the scene and the environment we're going to add to the scene as well. So real quick, press play and let's see what happens. I'm running, I'm jumping, I'm moving around. I've got head bob just like that. Barely had to do anything. And now we can explore our brand new level a little bit, but wow, it looks good, but it is plain. The horizon is boring. What can we do about that? Well, that's where our third and final add on comes in. So we're going to stop it. I did have an alt tab to stop it. Uh, you can add something really quick in your uh, in your node script or wherever just to say, listen for escape on escape, then take the mouse away. We're not going to cover that just yet on this tutorial, maybe on another one. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. All right, so let's go to our uh, third and final proton scatter. I absolutely love this one. We're going to download it. What it does is it allows you to place assets randomly in areas and it works out extremely well. And Terrain 3D actually works with it. Even though we don't have normal collision shapes with Terrain 3D, it works. So we're going to install Fast forward through this. Now you may notice that it is a pretty large install. 
for a plugin. That's because it comes with a lot of uh, demoable assets that if you use it, you can get rid of the, the demo stuff for exporting your game. All right, so installed successfully. Let's go into project settings, plugins, Roton Scatter, close. All right, there we go. Now there is one thing that we have to do here um, in Train 3D extras project on terrain 3d right so open up this script copy everything actually it's probably easier if we just duplicate it duplicate move and duplicate to we're going to create a copy to add-ons proton scatter source move duplicate to add-ons proton scatter source modifiers all right and we're going to copy it and you can see that in our proton scatter source modifiers we've got the new file project on terrain 3d i'm going to go in here select everything underneath line five here uncomment it press save oh looks like we got an error here oh well here is the issue i did the wrong the wrong file i uncommented in the wrong file and that is a mistake that is on me so let's fix that let's close down that file save it and then go to the one that we actually need to to uncomment project on train 3d gonna double check here Our proton scatter like everything from line seven down boom boom save error three or error free almost let's let's hold on let oh save error free there we go All right so train 3d we've got that let's go back to our 3d map and we are going to add in just to our no 3d we're going to add in proton scatter and this is automatically going to give us a scatter item and a scatter shape so the scatter item is going to be what we want to to be repeated or or randomly placed so for this one i'm just going to use a demo asset it comes with bricks which is cool and all but let's make some trees pine trees right, scatter shape we don't have one yet so or we've got one but it's small and it's way over there so let's zoom in on it by pressing f move it on over here pick it up so that it's visible and it's a sphere look at that all those trees just hanging out in the middle of the in the middle of the world so why aren't they on the ground? Well, I'll tell you why, because they are afraid of grass, just like me. The actual reason is because we have to set them up to work with Train 3D. Right now, it's just for create inside random and project on colliders. We need to replace this project on colliders with project on Train 3D right there. So once that goes, we need to select our terrain node. That's gonna be Terrain 3D here. And now it should be perfectly on, on our terrain. Now, this one is really cool because you can create inside random, change the number, let's do 100 trees in very little area there, of uh, randomized transforms. If you want to have them each a little bit different, let's say the X, I'm going gonna, gonna to go, go big with a 0.5 and Y, ooh, all the way there. And Z, Rebel, look at these, these trees just hanging out like this. And if you have a hard time zooming around, click on scatter shape over here, press F or double click on, on the icon here and it'll just bring you in. But look at all the trees here. Now it's not just for placing stuff. We can also add in more than one shape. So let's add in another uh, scatter shape, add scatter. And we're gonna put a, another sphere shape and that's gonna go way over there at the zero zero. So select that, go here, same thing, move it on over, see where we are, boom. Get it down on the ground here. Where are you now? There it is. That's big enough to see. So look, we can have two here. Let's say, let's say just for example, that we wanted to make sure that there are no trees here. We can take this shape, we can pop it over inside here, and now we have a ring of trees. Now, how does this come in handy? Well, let me show you. Let's take this mountain, this whole mountain here, or this plateau, let's add a scatter shape. We're going to add in a box. Just add scatter shape, new box shape. Find it. Grab it, move it on over. We need to zoom in pretty close to it. Press F to get close and let's make it big, big box or big hill. Yeah, I, yeah, want it right here. And notice how the trees are actually moving with, with the shape. I think that's so cool. Makes life so much easier, like I said. Now you may be asking yourself, performance, dude, performance, come on. Think of all the shapes. Think of everything that we're dealing with here. This is going to kill performance, isn't it? And it could if you do things wrong. So I'm going to take the scatter item. Actually, we're going to go into proton scatter. We're going to do create inside random 2000 trees. Look at that. That's a lot of trees. We can go higher. 5000 trees. Wow. It is Arbor Day in our land of mystery here. So what we can do here and look how crooked they are. They're all over the place, which is great. Now let's add another, yet another scatter. This time we're going to use a completely different thing. Um, let's use a GoBot. Find that shape. Look at these poor little things just barely sticking out. And why is that? 
Well, because we don't have, it's projecting on colliders, but not on Terrain 3D. So let's do that, change that. Yep, select the node, Terrain 3D. There we are. Now they're projecting as expected and randomized transforms. Let's, let's even take off the relaxed positions and random transforms. So they go here, boom, everybody's happy now, right? And there are different ways that we can we can map them out, but let's just take the shape, make it bigger, pop these bad boys all over the place, do another, another thousand all over. Now, again, you're probably thinking, whoa, this is too many meshes, this is too many shapes, why, why would anybody do this? Well, let me show you. Something we can do to make things a little bit better. Um, with our items, we can go into level of detail, make sure that it's turned on, and then on our scatters, there's a little section here, performance. Use instancing, yes. Use chunks, absolutely. And what chunks do, if you've ever played Minecraft or similar, uh, it's just like that. It only loads certain areas. Now, what we also need to do is go into our items here in visibility. We're gonna see, set our range begin to zero, range begin margin to 0.1, range end, it's up to you. I, I think that 50 is good, range end margin 0.1. All right, it's gonna do it for our trees. Now, same thing with our G-Bots here. We're gonna go visibility, oh, sorry, under the item, 0.1, oh, 0.1, 50, 0.1, there. Now, you can't see a difference yet. We just need to go into both of these, reset the cache. Reset the cache. Hey, notice something? Hey, look at that. As we move closer, closer, they disappear and appear based on where we are in relation to it. And that's the same with our character. So let's move our character all the way here and put him on the ground. Happy birthday to the ground. Up, up. Where are you? There, I see the camera. All right, now we want to make it not as difficult to get in there. So what I'm going to do just for the sake of seeing where everything is, is I'll reset all these so that we can see. Reset the caches. Boom. And now I'm going to add one more thing here. We are going to make a path. I'm going to do a scatter shape here under our trees. Scatter shape. We're going to do a scatter path shape. We're going to start on our hill. A path, snap to colliders. Add one here. Looks like it's not going to snap to that collider. So take it off black to plane. Get rid of that little one there. And then just manipulate them around a little bit until you find a good way to get them in order. So if you want to move it around, Grab one, pop that over there, pop that here. And then we're gonna hit this last one right here and put it right by our little hero. And we're gonna hit negative. So that's gonna say nothing lives here. Turn off closed, thickness 10. You might need to do a little bit of adjusting, but you want that red shape right above there. So let's just refresh the cache here. And this is going to clear out a bit of a path for us. So just because it's on a hill, I made things more difficult than they need to be and you might need to play around with it. Your mileage may vary here. All right, and there we go. We've got a trail for the most part. Um, what we might need to do also, just because, you know, the, the amount, there's so many of them, we can randomize the transforms, take, get rid of that. If I do, make them a little bit more uniform. I'm gonna do uh, another clear of the cache. All right, now where is our little guy floating in the air over there? So let's just take a look and let's see, see our level. Boom. And we just made a very large level. Don't mind that I didn't put collision shapes on them. With great 3D textures here, randomly placed assets all over the place. And a skyline to die for. I mean, come on, people would pay good money to live on this ridge right here. Look at that, look at that. What do you think? I'm for it. All right, so what do you think about this? Um, I really enjoy these three. They're wonderful. Uh, they make development so much quicker. They make level creation so much quicker. I mean, look at, you even got trees on the mountaintop over there. That's amazing. Quick jump and down we go. So hopefully this is something that you find useful. If you did, let me know in the comments. If you got questions, if you got suggestions, if you saw something that I missed or that I completely biffed on, do not hesitate to let me know either in the comments, in Discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description or you know however on my twitch stream oh yeah that's right i also stream on twitch seven days a week for now twitch.tv slash jd does dev check me out if you enjoyed this leave a comment leave a like leave a sub if not leave a comment leave a like leave a sub i appreciate you and i will see you on the next one
Take care.